Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznuz, and uh, this video is going to be an end of year bank video. Since 2020 is now over and 2021 is started, I thought I would do a bank video here because a lot of people ask about it. And uh, I will also be showing all my boss logs and collection logs at the end of this video. But this bank video is kind of going to be a look inside a PVMers bank because that's basically all I do on this game now. Um, so I'll be showing you a look on how everything is laid out. And I did not clean my bank in preparation for this. I wanted to show you raw and unfiltered what my bank usually looks like. I didn't feel like I wanted to just clean up, make it look perfect for this video. So we're going to get into it here and, uh, we'll start off with the main tab. So the main tab, there's really not much to see here. It's my most disorganized tab, but, uh, we have stuff like charms, um, spirit gems, um, whatever I'm doing at the time or random stuff that doesn't have a place. We have long bones here, a bunch of archaeology things, um, just random stuff. I mean, a coconut shell. Who knows why he's here, how he got here, but he will live forever um, because he is important to me. Somehow, some way, um, he's important. But uh, yeah, this is just basically random stuff. I don't really want to spend too much time on it because there's really nothing to see here, but we'll go to the next tab, which is basically my odd and end potion tab. So these are all potion doses um, that basically I have no use for or potions I have no use for that will go in here. And then basically the purpose for this tab is I will really never look at these, um, but these potions go in here and then I will end up de only coming in here when I'm going to decant them. So I'll take like all these super prayer renewals and note them and then I'll decant them and turn them into six dose potions. So that's basically what this tab is for. Um, nothing really else, just, uh, just all the odd dose potions go in here and then of course I can decant them. Next, we'll go to the treasure hunter slash skilling tab. So this has all my various skilling stuff, untradeable stuff, um, protein stuff from treasure hunter, uh, divine, you know, stuff all collected throughout the years and years and years from treasure hunter. Um, we have some farming stuff because basically like farming archaeology um, are like the only skills that I need left to get uh, completionist cave farming archaeology slayer. Um, so this basically just all that random stuff. Um, do you have a bunch of skilling outfits here? Um, farming urns, just a bunch of random skilling stuff, treasure hunter stuff. We have brawlers down here, which, um, are basically all from revenants. Hopefully one day I'll get to using them, but, uh, you know, not sure how soon those will be used and then skilling outfits and stuff like that. So again, nothing too huge in this tab. Um, but I thought I'd show it anyway. Then we'll move on to the clue tab. So this is, you know, a really simple tab. Um, it's just uh, just my clues. So it should actually be in this order. But uh, yeah, this is just my clue tab. It's where I have all my clues. So I can easily come in here, take out a stack of clues, and get to doing them. So not too much to talk about here. Just, uh, just a ton of clues. Uh, I have so many elites because I haven't done them because I was hoping... Um, when the clue quality of life uh, update came out that they would update elite clues and make them better to do but they really didn't do much there um, they're just so annoying to do with all the puzzles and I'm not gonna pay so much money for puzzle skipping tickets because it's just not worth it at all um, but uh, yeah um, elite clues are definitely not my favorite so I'll probably be stacking these for a while but yeah this is my clue tab and now we're going to move on to the main supply tab. So this is the tab that I use basically whenever I PVM. So this has all my supplies that I use. So we have Elder Overloads, Spiritual Prayers, which I use almost all the time now because I'm using Ripper Demon a lot. Uh, we have Brews, Restores, of course. Adrenaline Renewal Potions, which are the best adrenaline potion. I made a ton of these, which cost me quite a bit of money, uh, but they are well worth it. Um, we have weapon poison for when I am attacking a poisonable boss. Uh, for food, we have blue blubber jellyfish, which I don't use as much, but there are some scenarios I use them in. And then, of course, sailfish. Then we have my incense sticks here, all the incense sticks that I use when I PVM. So we have lantodime for overload increase, um, spirit weed sticks for when I use ripper demon, and then quorum incense sticks for when I'm using weapon poison. 
Now we're moving on to the familiars here. So I have Pack Mammoth and Pack Yak. I don't really use these for a ton of things, maybe like High Enraged Telos and stuff like that, but there's not a lot of places that I bring Yak anymore. Um, and then we have Ripper Demon and Scrolls, which I'm currently out of. I'll need to stock back up, but I basically use Ripper Demon at a ton of places now. Then we have Viswax, which I probably spend so much money on to extend my auras. But a uh, ton of Viswax, uh, you can only buy 200 per 4 hours, so uh, usually whenever I run out, I just stock back up. We have Dominion Mines here, which I use for things like Elite Dungeons. They're pretty useful at places like Siryu and the Blackstone Dragon. Uh, vulnerability Bombs, which I use everywhere that I range or melee. And then, of course, Chin Ch Mechanized Chinchampas, which I use at Elite Dungeons when I'm ranging to clear the monsters faster. So that's basically it for this tab. The nice thing about this tab is everything six dose. I usually stock up on this fully. Then I can PVM for a ton of time. And then after a while, I can go back to this tab. And as you can see, I have like odd dose potions like adrenaline renewals and uh, elder overloads. And I can decant these and uh, they'll all just go back into this tab. And this is just a nice organized tab that I use basically every time I PVM. And I really like this, uh, this method of doing it. Now we're going to move on to the second to last tab, which is going to be the gear tab. So if we start up here, I'm not going to take too long. Of course, I don't want to drag this out, but we have a lot of jewelry up here. These are basically ones that I don't use too often. Um, and then we have my main jewelry, which is the essence of finality, ring of vigor, ring of death, and luck of the doors. Down here, we have our armor sets. So we have our melee set. Um, I do have a fire cape. I need to get the melee kiln cape, and I'll be getting that soon. Then we have the range set, which is full ceramic, fleeting boots, nightmare gauntlets. If you're wondering why my ceramic top is dyed barrows, uh, you'll be seeing in a later Road to Party app, but it basically happened on stream. Um, we have our magic kiln cape, and then elite tectonic top and bottom, um, fully perked out with biting four. Uh, all these are so pretty nice there hellfire boots and celestial hand wraps then we have just you know some 120 capes max cape and then slayer cape and dunge cape because i use them for the teleports um, we have gothic staff dark bow which are spec weapons that i'll put in my essence of finality um, flanking switches planted feet uh, some defenders down here dragon rider lance um, we have ammunition here uh, which is mostly what I use for Raksha and when I range. Uh, pocket slide items, so Scrimshaw, Book of Law, and then Grimoire, which Grimoire is like 500 mil now, so I think I bought it for like 240. So glad I got that out of the way and bought that. Um, we have our shield here, um, some random stuff like Laceration Boots, Death Touch Bracelet, Adrenaline Urn, and then here's kind of like my Rev uh, Rev gear, so Drop Enhancers, Ghost Hunter, and Revenant 2 Age Sword, which is what I use when I go to Revs, and then just some random stuff here like Enhanced Excalibur and Elder Rune for when I bonfire, and then a Slayer Helmet. So this is basically how my gear tab is, so I can honestly just take stuff out, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, my dog's barking in the background, but uh, just ignore that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you can basically take stuff out and put it back in, and it's pretty simple to do. And I'm so glad they added the uh, placeholders here because it just it just makes it so much nicer. Like trying to have a gear tab without placeholders was just like so annoying back in the day. So I'm glad they added those back in. Um, and now we are going to get into the final tab, which is my current loot tab. Um, there's not a ton here, but I have been saving it for quite a bit, so I'll take out a few things to price check. Um, a lot of this is from Raksha, as you can see here, so um, just some random small items here I'll show you. Um, we have our relics, which are from the Elite Dungeons down here, um, and then just random stuff. So I'll just, I'll just price check some of this. Of course, there's not huge loots. Shadow Spike up here. Laceration Boots are kind of the biggest drops in here. Um... But uh, the normal drops have really been adding up, as you can see, 65 mil in those. So I have been saving this tab, and I hope to save this tab up to like a bill or something and sell it on a future Road to Party App video. So look out for that. But yeah, that's basically my bank. There's not a ton to it, but uh, I really like my condensed PBM setup. Just a small tab of all my equipment, and then this tab of all my supplies, and then having the potion tab to take from and decant the potions when you need, and then stock them all into here is really, really nice. 
So now we're going to go on to a few boss collections, which I'm going to go through um, really fast here. So if we look here, um, we can look at my boss kills, which I have 22,000 boss kills um, just to show you. And then we'll go through a few tabs so that you may not have seen. So Araxor, I actually have the Araxor title. Um, got pretty lucky on the fangs. Um, they're going for a ton now. I think when I got them, they actually weren't that much. But uh, five spider legs. And of course, I have all the pets and 17 pheromones. Um, other notable tabs here, Chaos Elemental, I do have the full Revenant log, I love revs, they're one of my favorite things to do, so I do have the Chaos title here. Um, if we go down, we have something like Hellware, which I actually do have the collection, I have not claimed the pet yet, but I do have the pet, so I have everything here. Um, if we go down, let's see, some like Vindicta, I actually have the full collection log here as well. Um, if we look at things like Telos, I have 1100 kills, which is probably my most done boss. And uh, I have uh, one orb set and two dormants and the pet, which I, I think I'm pretty unlucky at Telos, honestly, but uh, hoping to give him another try in the future. Um, things like Elite Dungeons, Siryu, I have everything but the pet. I've done quite a bit of solos. Um, we have Nex here, which I have 726 kills and uh, have a decent amount on the log. So, yeah, these are basically the main things I do. Magister, 2300 kills, and we have the full log complete there. So I thought I'd just show just a few of these logs um, just to give you guys an idea of... Uh, of basically the bosses I do. Virago, 78 kills. We do have a seismic singularity in our name, which is really nice. And of course, we have Raksha here, which I have about 700 kills. And that is how the long is looking currently. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know my bank isn't the most organized, so don't comment and be like, oh my gosh, your bank is so disgusting. I know there's a coconut shell in there. It's it's not organized, but uh, I thought I'd show you guys just a raw, unfiltered look at my bank and then throw in the boss collection log and stuff at the end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and uh, more videos are coming out soon. So stay tuned and uh, I will also be streaming. So um, you can look in my community tab and I will be streaming on Twitch in the future. So you can go there if you want to hang out. It's a really good time. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.